I used to study at Stanford University. Real estate, very, very expensive. It was very clear that if I were to graduate and try to get a house, uh, whether buying or renting, it was nearly impossible. I wanted to kind of figure out how we could actually alleviate that and basically make assets or properties more accessible to everyone. So that's kind of like where we started the, the mission of CASA. CASA Korea, founded in 2018, is a startup established with a goal to make assets more accessible to everyone by using a concept of so-called fractional ownership. At CASA's mobile platform, people can purchase fractional ownership of buildings in Seoul at 5,000 won per share or per digital asset-backed securities in CASA's terms. In the future, the startup's founder, Ye chang -won, hopes to treat other assets traditionally inaccessible to the public, such as trips, airplanes, and music IPs on the company's platform. I think the number was actually 3,025 people mm -hmm. invested uh, 4 million collectively mm -hmm. in less than uh, two hours and a half. Given that speed, it has definitely been faster than our first building. Our expectation is that as we grow in users and as we uh, build confidence and trust amongst the people that use our platform, that speed and that total amount of capital raising will increase down the road. Of the 3,025 people who have invested in the second building, 63% have already had invested in CASA before. There's a very high percentage of people who have invested again. There's three different ways where you can basically earn money. If you were holding a DATS, then you get a rental income that is generated from the property. That is actually paid out in dividends on a quarterly basis. Second, uh, we basically provide a secondary trading interface. So it's very really similar to mobile trading system for the stock exchange. But instead of companies, you would be selling parts of the building. And third but not last is if the building were to be sold out completely by an outside buyer, then the capital gains that are generated from that sellout will be also paid in dividends and the dApps will be delisted. The main question would be if I were to deposit or withdraw money or capital, uh, would that be safe? Mm -hmm. In the incident that uh, you know, CASA might not be operating our platform tomorrow. So all of the capital actually goes into trust account that is separated from our corporate accounts inside HANA Bank. So you're essentially sending money to HANA Bank. We are leveraging the built up trust of a, a licensed bank so that our users' monies are actually safely warehoused. At the same time, the other aspect is going to be, okay, who actually holds the rights and ownership of the buildings that are listed on CASA. And we are similarly kind of separating the ownership from CASA's assets. So CASA would not hold or own any of the properties that we list and offer on our platform. All of them would be uh, entrusted into a licensed trust fund. We are focusing on small to mid-tier assets, uh, valuations ranging from 5 million to 80 million in US dollars. So we're definitely targeting a, a class that is the long tail, but at the same time, uh, not typically uh, acquired by professional inst financial institutions or funds, uh, which is the interesting part. And so there's still a lot of demand on the building owners in this area who do want to sell their assets, but because the market itself is so illiquid, mm -hmm. they haven't been able to find the right buyers at the right time. Mm -hmm. And so CASA actually is a very refreshing alternative mm -hmm. for these people because uh, we're essentially providing an IPO market for their assets. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a lot of demand. And if I were to share the numbers, uh, it, roughly in our pipeline alone, we have received over 350 properties uh, inbound who are interested in liquidating their assets as a listing on CASA. So definitely there's a lot of demand there and I, and I do feel that we're going to be increasing that number as we go. Now we are also have been actively part, uh, partnering with various partners uh, in the real estate scene. So whether it's advisory firms like uh, CBRE or uh, the, the local brokerage agencies here, uh, right now, our partnership has ranged over 26 firms. Mm -hmm. So from the property owner's perspective, uh, it's definitely a huge plus if they are able to find a buyer. Mm -hmm. And in CASA is, is, is basically a kind of a system where we can always be there 
if the price is right and the demand on our user side is, is it. Casa is a single asset investment. So by definition, you are investing and choosing a specific building compared to a portfolio of assets. So, um, and that, that experience actually is much more important when you are kind of trying to actually buy a building. If you were to actually list or liquidate an asset on Casa, mm -hmm. it would take roughly about one to two months. And as a property owner, you don't have to actually go through all the hassles of underwriting or going through the listing approvals. Uh, you just come to us and uh, we are partnered with a trust firm. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is sign an agreement, whereas you are agreeing to put the, uh, the building under trust mm -hmm. and then liquidate it into the platform as well. And that's it. All the back end uh, Casa takes care. We are in talks with very interesting parties right now, uh, so who are not necessarily property related. That's where we see ourselves kind of giving a new vision for our users as well, because you know it's a very cool thing to invest into a building in Gangnam, right. but you know if you can actually buy a part of a Monet or actually buy a part of a song ownership in terms of by P, those are pretty cool um, asset classes that we are definitely looking into as well.